my name is Melanie Lewis. I teach the Health Sciences program at Glencoe High School. I teach it with Troy Hall. He's gonna to talk to you in a few minutes about the courses that he teaches. We're really excited to have students in our program who are interested in a career in the medical field, those going into a dental field, maybe veterinary medicine or biomedical research. Hi, I'm Troy Hall and I teach Health Sciences here at Glencoe. We're really excited to be adding a new class next year. Um, intro to health sciences class. It's going to be a semester long. Um, we're going to be building a lot of skills to get kids ready for um, health, actual health sciences one and um, anatomy and physiology. After you take intro to health sciences professions with Mr. Hall, you'll take anatomy and physiology with me your junior year. It is a college level class where we learn about the basics of anatomy, but also the physiology or basically how the, the body works. The body is amazing, all the different things that it does to keep us alive and to keep us going. Um, we do a lot of different dissections. We uh, dissect a chicken wing, a sheep brain, a sheep heart, a fetal pig, and hopefully at the end of the year we'll be able to go to a cadaver lab at one of the um, colleges around us in the area. So I also teach health sciences one. In that class we get to uh, get CPR and first aid certified. We get some OSHA certifications. We go over just the healthcare system, how it works. We've been talking about the opioid crisis, all kinds of things that are gonna help you just in life also. Um, we have a lot of people when we talk about insurance who say that that's something that was very, very valuable for them that they don't get most other places and just how does the system work and how do I navigate it as somebody who's gonna be a user of our healthcare system. So we also do a big mass casualty incident drill at the end of the year that's a lot of fun. We do, uh, we, it's a simulated um, disaster drill where we have um, our students are um, working as emergency responders and helping to um, save the lives of people that are in our simulated disaster. Finally, in your senior year, you will take Health Sciences 2 with me. Part of that class is taking PCC dual credit medical terminology. You'll earn four credits for that, and you'll learn about a lot of different pathologies or diseases and conditions of the different body systems. You'll also do your senior project in that class where you will get to go do internships in the community with some amazing community partners that we have from working in a dental office to a veterinarian clinic or going to observe at a research center or working with different hospitals and clinics to work with patients in physical therapy or nursing or any type of um, career really that you're interested in. Um, also during your senior year, you will learn how to do suturing or how to do stitches on a patient. You'll learn how to do uh, vital signs, how to take blood pressure. Um, we have a new mannequin that we can program in all of those vital signs and then you get to take them um, and just like a, a nursing assistant would or a nurse. Hi, my name is Miguel Escalera. Um, I'm a senior here at Glencoe High School, part of the health sciences program. Um, I became interested in the health sciences program because I'm hoping to become an athletic trainer in the future. And a thing I really liked about the class is um, we got to do a lot of dissections our junior year. And right now we're working a lot in uh, on our senior project. So. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm part of the health sciences program and I like it because you get to learn a lot of medical terminology. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm also a senior here at Glencoe and I'm in the health sciences program. In the future, I want to be a labor and delivery nurse, so that's why I got into this program. And I really love learning about the body and the different functions and how it all works together. Hi, my name is Gabby. I'm a senior here at Glencoe and I'm in the Health Sciences program. I am interested in becoming a biomedical engineer and the Health Sciences program has helped me learn a lot about the medical side of it. Hi, my name is Hayden Kirkpatrick. I'm a senior at Glencoe High School and I got into the Health Sciences uh, career pathway because of my previous um, time spent in the hospital, so I've become more interested in that. Hi, my name is Noah Castillo. I'm also a senior here at Glencoe High School, enrolled in the medical career pathway. Um, the reason I got into it is because unfortunately I've had four family members get diagnosed with cancer in the past two years and I have this passion to help people and I think this is a place where I can do that. If you are interested in any of the things that Mr. Hall or I have talked about in this video, please come and talk to us. We love talking about our program and the experiences and opportunities that you could explore in our program. You can also look on the Glencoe Counseling website for our flyer that has the courses in our program. You can also follow us on Instagram at GHS Health Sciences. Thanks. We are Glencoe Health Science students and we are proud to be HSD. Hi, I'm 
Lori Dalhausen. I am the theater teacher here at Glencoe High School and in charge of that college and career pathway. There are a million ways to get involved in theater and I find it particularly interesting because it always changes. For one, one day you could be working on lights, the next day you could be working on a scene. Theater is a dynamic, changing environment that gives all different kinds of people a way to get involved outside of school and to really enjoy an hour and a half of their day during school. We have two pathways, sort of. A technical pathway, where you learn about the backstage part of theater, set building, lights, sound, costuming. And then we have an acting side of the house, where you learn about acting techniques, directing, writing scripts. And people often do both because it's a lot of fun, frankly, and also you build a whole bunch of terrific skills. Um, there are hard skills that you can take straight into the workforce, like being able to build things, being able to hang and focus and mix lighting. Uh, I've had students who just go straight into the workplace right from high school and have been successful. There's also all kinds of college opportunities from theater and people who get terrific scholarships um, from 90 second auditions and end up all over the country doing amazing things. But where it starts is right here at Glencoe Theater. There are four acting classes, Theater 1, Theater 2, Theater 3, and Theater 4, and you just build skills over those four years in increments and you also get really close to the people in those classes. And then there's Technical Theater 1, Technical Theater 2, and Technical Theater 2 can be repeated. So you could do theater acting classes and theater tech classes all four years of high school. At the end, if you choose to do the pathway, you can do all kinds of senior projects like being in a play, leading up a technical crew, designing a set. Those are things that all happen in theater world, and the cool part is you get to decide what you're interested in and where you want to spend your time and become a part of a really caring, fun, interactive, high energy environment. So I hope you'll consider joining theater. How do you do that? Well, you can do after school productions. You can sign up for the classes, which I highly, highly recommend because believe me, after taking a bunch of heavy academic stuff, not that theater is easy because it's not, but it's different. You get to move around and do dynamic things in a creative way with a team of people. So it's a lot different from your regular classes and it's a great break. So believe me, you're gonna wanna sign up for those classes and do after school theater and you can be on the competition team and you can be a part of theater club and go see shows at other places. There's lots of ways to get involved. I hope you'll consider it. Glencoe Theater is the best. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Emma. I'm Allie. And we're we are Glencoe Glen theater. theater students. <laughs> I am working on props, so all the things that the actors use, it's really fun and exciting. Hi, I'm currently an actress in our, um, our upcoming production, Legally Blonde. I play Paulette, and it is a lead role. Yes. It is, <laughs> it's a lot of singing and acting, and it's been a lot of hard work and dedication and a lot of time. But I am very happy with how it's going, and it's going to pay off pretty soon. I like being able to see both sides of theater, to see the tech aspect and the acting aspect. I am currently playing Elle Woods in Legally Blonde at Glencoe. Um, it's a lot of fun because uh, when I found theater at Glencoe, I wasn't doing theater. I I, I had just started taking the class and I, I had been playing sports up until that point. And then I ended up just like really liking it. And now I'm planning on majoring in musical theater. And so this whole like process for doing the show has been a lot of fun because like it's a senior year. It's a fun time. A lot of my friends are in the production as well. So do the theater spotlight at the end of the year. Um, the juniors and seniors write slash direct um, like one acts, which are like short plays. They're like 10 minutes ish, depending on the play. Um, and they, ha uh, they cast and direct anybody in the theater department or outside of the theater department and it's super low-key and it's a really easy way to get involved and like test the waters and see if you're 
interested in doing theater. The school. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do jazz hands because we're theater kids? Please. Yes. Okay. We are Glen Co. Theater, and we're proud to be HSC. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Patterson, a construction teacher at Glencoe High School. What I really uh, am excited about, about this new construction course, is that it provides kids an opportunity to learn about the construction industry as a whole. The class isn't designed just to, you know, teach kids how to swing a hammer or to wire an outlet, but rather to have a general understanding of all the, the careers that are uh, available in construction and needed in our community right now. Construction trades, construction management, real estate, land development, uh, flipping houses. These are all things that you'll learn a little bit about. You're going to learn how to safely operate hand tools and power tools. You're going to learn uh, employability skills like punctuation, communication, all those things, you know, attention to detail that um, employers right now are looking for. You're going to gain hands-on skill. Even if you don't go into a career in construction, it's really beneficial to know how to fix things and how to use your hands. And that's kind of the whole idea about this class is to teach, you know, to give kids a, a kind of a can-do attitude to be able to look at a problem and problem solve and, and do what's necessary to fix it. We do have a lot of fun in the class, at least I think, I know I'm the instructor, but I think we have a lot of fun in the class. Uh, there's volunteer opportunities where we'll go to Habitat for Humanity and get off site and actually work in the community uh, for a really, really good cause. Um, eventually, uh, once this program builds a little bit, I think we'll start, um, you know, maybe build a house in the community as a class, uh, maybe build tiny houses, definitely high wage, high demand uh, field of construction. So I'm Peyton and I'm a senior at Glencoe and I'm taking a construction class and my favorite thing so far is learning a bunch of different trades that will be able to help us later. Plumbing, electrical, uh, tiling, wall framing, roof framing, and a bunch of other stuff that you can end up learning depending on what you choose to pick. So far, my favorite's been tiling. My name is Jensen, and I'm a senior at Glencoe High School, and um, I really like construction just because you can learn to have a lot of different areas in construction and learn what you like and what you don't like and what you maybe want to pursue a career in. And my favorite um, area so far in construction has been tiling. So I'm Lise. I'm from, I'm a senior at Glencoe. Uh, something uh, from construction that I think is really valuable in life is that later on we're going to buy our own house. We need those, we need, we need to know, we need to know how to uh, build, you know, like how to fix stuff in our house. It's less expensive if we do it ourselves. My name is Joey. I'm a senior at Glencoe. Uh, I really like the class because it gives us a break from the traditional classroom setting of just sitting in chairs and uh, listening to lectures. Um, it gives us a chance to get up, move around, and learn these hands-on skills uh, with the fun teacher and fun volunteers that come and uh, volunteer their time to teach us more about the different pathways in construction. My name is Noel. I'm a senior at Glencoe. And uh, what I love about this class is that we're really hands-on. Freshman year, if we had this, I would have been involved more. We could have in like more credentials, and uh, it could have helped me. Like, let's say, if I wanted to be an electrician or something, it would be easier for me to get that job out of uh, other students who haven't taken this class. Uh, so uh, one summer, I painted houses uh, as a summer job, and uh, I learned a lot. But when I came into construction, I had this previous knowledge from my job that I could apply to the class, but also going into the class, uh, it can go the other way around. And you can get these summer jobs as a student, even if you're not interested in a career, you can take these skills outward to have jobs in high school, even college and beyond, uh, because you're be gonna be able to get these higher wage jobs over working at uh, fast food places because you took this class in high school. I really liked working with uh, the tiling saw, the wet saw, because it was a new tool that I haven't used before. And it was really interesting to figure out how it worked to be one of the first people, I think we were the first people to use it so it was really interesting to be able to be like the first one to figure it out and help everyone else learn how to use them oh um, yeah we got to create an electrical board so we got to do what was it we did one power outlet and then we did a light switch to a light bulb in wall framing we created a small scale kind of like room and framed all the walls and put them together onto a platform so that was a lot of fun paint the house move stuff around and it's like for a good cause hi i'm javier uh, I'm a student from Glencoe, I'm a sophomore, 
And some things that I've done in construction is wall framing, uh, drywall and painting. So if I want to get a job, I can say I have some experience. What I like about it is that there's a lot of like teamwork building. So you get to know a lot of other people, like other kids that maybe are shy to talk to other. You can do stuff that you probably never think you'd ever do in life, like build a house, most likely help a friend build a house or something that they need help with. Maybe you know what to do from this class. Uh, you can come talk to me. My name is Mr. Patterson. You can email me. You can talk to any of the students who are in construction class right now. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you can forecast for it starting your sophomore year at Glencoe High School. I'm Kyle Tolzman and I teach the marketing program at Glencoe High School. The program covers a variety of business topics like advertising and promotion, digital marketing, social media marketing, entrepreneurship, and how to run your own business. A lot of the different activities that we do in Marketing 1, Marketing Lab, Marketing 2 are a lot of hands-on types of projects. Um, it can be anything from building your own store to uh, presenting to the class about a variety of different things. In our senior projects class, students will be completing an e-portfolio. Sometimes they'll be working on uh, research paper, sometimes they'll be planning their own project outside of school, sometimes they'll be involved in sales simulations, um, a lot of different team building types of activities and teamwork activities that will help them later on in their careers. In the marketing college pathway, students are able to find and explore different careers in sales, advertising, promotion, uh, digital marketing, social media marketing, and any other introductory business type of job uh, that they would get into. Most of the concepts covered will translate directly into an entry-level business job. Hi, I'm Calvin Stuckey. I'm a senior from Glencoe High School and I'm in the uh, marketing and business program. Uh, what the marketing and business program has meant to me, it's really helped me know how to run a business and how to um, work with other, other people in different aspects of business. Uh, I've been taking Marketing 1, Marketing 2, Marketing Lab, and um, Accounting, and they've all helped me. Later on in the, the, my career, I want to go into business and sports management and sports marketing, so th these classes help me segue into that, um, and I feel like it's, it's really helped me, and, and I think when you, when you sign up for this class, you'll have, you'll have some fun and you'll, you'll learn a lot. If you're looking to get more involved in the marketing career pathway, come on down to the student store and ask any of our students what the program's all about, or find me. I'm usually in room 171 right behind the student store, and you can sign up for Marketing One, which is a year-long class to explore all the different concepts in Marketing One. Hello, I'm Eric Walker and I um, teach financial services here at Glyco High School, consisting of Accounting 1 and Accounting 2, and most importantly, personal finance. Accounting 1 is a great career pathway start for many of my past students. Uh, there's PCC dual credit involved for free, which is a very transferable uh, three credits of community college. Personal finance is uh, a class everyone should take here at Glencoe High School. It teaches you how money works in America, how to hang on to some of your money, and how to earn your money. How to have fun with your money. How to keep money so you have fun with it. Um, we're here to teach young people about uh, money so that they can learn it the right way the first time and not have to learn it by the school of hard knocks. Um, I think it's a class that all students of all backgrounds, ethnicities, origins should take because again, how money works in America um, is a great skill to learn. As a sophomore is when my classes are available. You can sign up um, and just take it as a sophomore. Probably personal finance, it's best as a junior or senior, but sophomores are welcome. Um, accounting sophomore year is a great time to take it because it gets you immersed in what college is gonna look like early in your career. Like I mentioned before, the dual credit is for um, accounting one at PCC, it's BA 111 credit. Um, and it's extremely valuable because one, it has to do with business and all businesses, whether they're nonprofit, for-profit, um, health services, um, 
people, business, whatever, all deal with money. And it teaches you great skills. And I've never heard of the, the credit not being transferable to the next level. Hi, I'm Mikey Reyes. I'm a sophomore at Glencoe and you learn how important both of these classes are. I took both accounting and I'm taking personal finance. And it just, everyone wants money. Everyone needs to learn how to use their money. And it helps a lot. <laughs> And Mr. Walker is a very wise person. He will get you where you need to be. My name is Monique Granberg, and I'm a junior here at Glencoe High School. Uh, I'm in Mr. Walker's business classes. I take in personal finance, and I'm in the accounting classes as well. Uh, I think that uh, these classes are super important to take because throughout um, the classes I've been in, I'm learning like what mistakes not to make so that I can be successful with my money and kind of learn how the system works in general. I want to get a business degree and so I think these classes are preparing me like really well for that. My name is Nick Nelson. I'm a senior at Glencoe High School and I really enjoy the business services program. Uh, both accounting and personal finance will teach you how to manage your money and how to properly use your money and what to and what not to spend your money on. And if you think about it, everything in this world uses money or is somehow connected to money. So there's really no reason not to go into this service. Program. If you know the right tools and like, the, if you have the right tools and if you know the right strategies in order to get out of debt, it's not a black hole that you're stuck in forever. I can see myself doing a lot of things, um, from re real estate to being a, a market manager, anything really. So we'll see where it takes me. I'm Mr. Walker, and you can get a hold of me in room 108 at Glencoe High School anytime. Come on in, and we can talk further about uh, how this program will fit for you. Hi, my name is Mr. Reynoso and I teach graphic design here at Glencoe High School. Uh, the graphic design pathway is one that allows our students to look at our at projects, start from the ground level and build them all the way to, through to completion in terms of apparel design, um, app, app design, icon design, logo design, basically anything you see around uh, yourself and the community whether it's advertisements on TV, on your cell phone, has been designed by a designer. So that's what we cover in our graphic design classes. There are three different levels to our course. There's graphic design one, which is one semester. Graphic design two, which is another semester taken somewhere between your sophomore and junior year. And then there's advanced graphic arts, which is a senior only class, which is the capstone to the pathway, um, which is what our seniors take to wrap up all of their graphic design work that they've been doing for the previous three years. Some opportunities we have on campus are we run the student store where we sell apparel that is designed by the students for the students. We also do outsourcing. We design shirts for clubs, athletic teams, and other organizations on our campus. Uh, the, ca the organizations come to us. Our students take the designs, the concepts, they create them, they print the actual shirts, and then they hand over the designs um, to our clients. The senior projects uh, are a year-long project that always are paired with some type of a portfolio. Uh, the process of the design is as important as the final product. We're really big on making sure that we are tracking everything we do from the beginning of our project to the end, and our presentation is key because when you're making products and you're designing products, um, your final piece is really what everybody wants to see and it's the focus of your entire project. So some people have done t-shirt printing for an event. Um, we have uh, Breast Cancer Awareness um, Month and we end up designing and selling pink t-shirts on campus for our football game. That is usually at the end of the month. Um, we also have worked wrestling tournaments where we go off-site to a high school wrestling tournament and print shirts on site there for whoever wants to buy them. Um, and then we've also had other people who have put together portfolios that they have taken on job interviews with them after they graduated high school to try to get jobs as graphic designers, whether they're just designing, they're doing design for online application or if they're working in the apparel printing world. 90% of our work in the graphic design classes is done on the computers. We stick with the Adobe Suite, mainly focusing on Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Um, everything that we start is always started on paper and sketchbooks so we can get our ideas thought out first, built, and then we take that over to the computer and we use professional grade programs that are used by everybody in the industry today. Um, that's one of the wonderful things about the program we have here at Glencoe is 
when you are using the programs here, the same programs you'd use at the graphic design department in Portland State, and the same programs you would use if you're working at White and Kennedy in Portland to work professionally as a designer. Um, when I have time, if I'm not working on a project, I'll be working on business cards for people, posters. I have, a, I have an internship where I go and I do design work. So it's opened up a lot of opportunities for me. If you're interested in, in taking graphic design, uh, you can go online and download the one pager and you take that with you when you forecast for your classes, um, whether you're a middle schooler getting ready for high school in your freshman year, or whether you're in high school getting ready for your sophomore or junior year, you have to have your graphic design one course passed to qualify for graphic design two, and then you have to have that course passed to qualify for the advanced graphic arts going into your senior year. Thanks for your time. Uh, again, this is Mr. Reynoso. If you're interested, come stop by my room, 160 across from athletic office, and I hope to see you guys in graphic design class at Glencoe High School. Hello, my name is Ben Adams, and I am the band director at Glencoe High School. Uh, my CCP is instrumental music, and specifically, we focus on band instruments. Um, some of the great things that you can get out of being a instrumental uh, musician or focusing on instrumental music is uh, simple things such as responsibility, learning how to manage your time. Uh, we talk a lot about leadership skills uh, that are incorporated with multiple facets of our program through our extracurriculars such as marching band and pep bands all the way down to our curriculum within the school such as our concert programs and our jazz bands. Some of the things that you will get out of our program that is specific to music is we talk a lot about how music can uh, help you get a profession that you might be interested in within uh, the music realm. We really focus on music theory, which is something that all of our students are required to do in order to become a professional teacher uh, in bands. Or maybe it's another aspect such as becoming a therapist. Music therapy is a huge one that is helping people now with mental disabilities that we have going on. And uh, it's a way that you can also keep in touch with your musicality. Uh, and we hope that we can get you some experience with uh, meeting people in our community who have gone into these professions. I have connections that where we can get you with professors at our local universities, such as Portland State, at Pacific University, um, and we have students who are currently becoming uh, interested in composition, and they are going to have meetings with those professors to hopefully get them more interested in some of the awesome things that they can do outside of high school as they continue on into their college and hopefully into their career. So we invite you to be a part of our CCP, and we hope to see you. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm a sophomore and I play trumpet. Um, one of the best things about band is all the people. Uh, you make a lot of great friends and uh, you make a lot of really fun memories. Um, going to competitions and uh, playing in parades, it's a lot of fun. Hey, I'm Natalie, I'm a senior. I play flute, trombone, and marching cymbals. Um, I've been involved in many uh, different bands here at Glencoe. Um, I've been involved in both marching ensembles, both um, full marching band and marching drum line all four years and it's really great having just a really great community community of people who are all passionate about the same things that you are um, I think even just having a basic music education can help you go a long ways in life um, for example um, for college you can get music scholarships even if they're not skill based you can get um, money for even just participating and I think band has made a really great impact on my life and it's shaped me to be the person that I am today. Pick an instrument that interests you and just go for it, I guess. Uh, uh, find an instructor, um, learn how to play the instrument, at least the basics, and then if it interests you, keep, keep going because it'll, it'll pay off. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. When you're starting out, everyone doesn't know what the heck they're doing. Like, you don't know how to read music, you don't know how to play an instrument, no one's going to be really good at it because it takes practice and time and don't be afraid to find what instrument fits you best like you might try out a woodman instrument or a brass instrument or even percussion um, just find something that um, that you really love to do 
and keep on doing that because that's what's going to benefit you. Our program has always been meant to be a family environment and we always welcome you to come down to our room even if you're not quite sure if it's something for you. Come down, say hi. I'm very welcoming and warm, uh, warm hearted and I'd love to see you and also our students would love to get to know you as well. So we hope to see you soon. Mary Brandenstein. I am the choir director here at Glencoe and I want to take a moment today to tell you a little bit about what kind of choirs you could get involved in as a student here. Um, choir is first and foremost um, a place where of course you learn how to sing but also it is a place for unity, for creativity, for discipline um, and being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. So we have five different choirs that can cater to your musical journey. We have a beginning tenor bass choir and a beginning soprano and alto choir. That's our fundamental choir where we learn how to use our voice and learn basic elements of harmony. And from that, we continue to move up in ability levels. So then there's our advanced treble choir from there. And then we go to our top choir, which is about typically about 60 students, juniors and seniors, and that is an audition only choir. That's sort of the goal that students work to throughout their time at Glencoe High School. That's also our competition choir. And then finally, we have a zero period class that is for like the truly hardcore students who love choir. That's an everyday course and we do everything from pop to jazz to madrigal music. And that's typically only about 18 students and also audition only. Um, there is never a bad or good time to start choir. You can get in whenever you want. If you're a junior and you've waited three years, now is the time to get into choir. If you want to learn how to sing or meet new friends, choir is the place to be. Again, I'm Mary Brandenstein, choir director. If you're interested in joining choir or if you have some musical experience and even want to audition for some of our upper choirs, feel free to swing by 142, which is just off the commons in the music wing. And I'd love to hear you sing or get you signed up for class. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Mrs. DeWitt and I teach the child development courses at Glencoe High School. And there are four levels. So there's child development one, and you can go into child development one and learn all about um, prenatal development through the first two years, which is really important to building family and relationship and trust and, and really the basis for self-esteem that you'll have later in life. And then there's child development two, and that is the course where we learn how to be teachers. Um, which of course is the essence of um, the core of this course. Um, Child Development three and four are advanced levels and in those classes, um, one is to really focus on learning um, how to interact with families and on four you're gonna learn all about observation and, and how to really understand um, what children are doing in the preschool classroom. Uh, now, Child Development is at its core about teaching but anybody who is interested in pediatrics, um, interested in law enforcement, um, interested in social services, coaching, so many professions are really benefited by understanding just why children are behaving the way they're behaving, how they're supposed to grow and develop normal development, um, that many, many people can, uh, can benefit from um, taking child development class. So, um, and then of course, if you don't have a career in your future where you're thinking about um, one of those courses, um, many, many people of course are interested in being parents someday and just understanding how children grow and develop can benefit just about anyone in their lives. Uh, my name is Alicia, I'm a junior at Glencoe. I really like child development because it's a, like hands-on along with the lessons so you get to like use what you learn. And also it just, you get to learn like experience for jobs and then also like family life and how to deal with like your own children. My name is Chris Downey. I'm a senior at Glencoe graduating this year. Um, what I really enjoyed in child development is, especially for a kid like me with high energy, it's a place for me to kind of outlet my energy and to be encouraged for it. And it also gives you a way to interact with younger children and actually build relationships with them. Rather than just playing with them, you learn who they are as people. And 
for me wanting to grow up and specialize in child development and wanting to really work with them for the rest of my life, this is the best place I could possibly be able to prepare myself for that. Make sure that you like actually are going to try and put forth the effort because it makes the class a lot more fun and then don't be afraid. Just have fun with the kids and like really get hands on with it. For any underclassmen, don't be afraid to be silly and have fun because you're surrounded by three, four and five year olds where all they want to do is have fun and be silly. Don't overthink yourself, have fun, just relax and be yourself around the little kids because no one's going to judge you. They're going to love it the sillier you are. And uh, for my career, I want to be a physical therapist who specializes in uh, child's physical development. So just being able to be around children and see how they develop physically and where they kind of need help, whether it's a children, child who has issues with coordination or they're just not quite developed where they should be yet. This class just kind of gives me a wider range of children at all ages. Uh, so for our senior project, we had to pick a topic and then we got to like research it through articles. And right now we're going and doing um, edits for a essay and then we're going to give a short, well not short, but like a little speech on it in class with our our child development three so they can actually get a look at it as well. For dual credit, we have to do an uh, essay about what it's like how it's going to help you and then you sign up for it. And this was a great class, especially for a senior project because it is at first what seems to be an overwhelming assignment but it's really easy to want to do your project in a class like this because it's directly applied to the kids you're working with so if you see a kid who ha has one certain obstacle in his life that could be the topic of your essay whether it's emotional development physical development it's just a, such an easy applicable class where everything you learn is right in front of you whereas other career pathways such as health sciences it's stuff you can apply to textbook, but not something right in front of you right away. Whereas what you learn in this class, you're going in the next day and incorporating it with the kids. So if you want to be involved in child development class, what you should do is you should come and talk to me here at Glencoe. Um, I'm down in room 126. You can talk to the counselors. Um, all you have to do is sign up and get started. Um, you can start as early as your freshman year. Um, some people start their sophomore years, but I'm really hoping that you'll, you'll jump in. Hi, I'm Mike O'Connor. Stop in and see me sometime and we can talk about drafting and architecture. If you like drawing and developing plans to build things, a career drafting and architecture is a great choice. Drafters may work in a wide variety of areas including architectural, mechanical, structural, electrical, and civil. Drafting may also do document control, surveying, mapping, estimating, and design. They prepare technical drawings and plans to use by production and industries. The work of drafters makes production of manufactured products become a reality. This includes everything from toys to toasters to industrial machinery, spacecraft, houses, office buildings, and oil and gas pipelines. Glenco Drafting and Architecture is based in a computer-aided drafting lab with advanced hardware and software where you'll be trained in industry standards. Students that complete drafting and architecture program will have a great advantage in college and workplaces over those who have not learned the important basics of communicating technical information. Internships in local businesses, industry, and government sites provide hands-on learning opportunities that can link you to colleges and employment. Locally, drafters are employed in engineering firms and companies that are subcontractors and material suppliers for construction projects. Drafters also are employed in manufacturing and manufacturing fabrication companies. In addition, drafters may work in government, transportation, utilities, communications, and through self-employment. Drafting skills are used in a broad range of occupations from interior design, drama set layout, to cabinet and kitchen arrangement. Hey, you stop by Glencoe, I'd like to show you around. Uh, just ask for Mr. O'Connor, and if you don't find me in the drafting room, look in the wood shop, I work there too. My name is Dave Williams. I teach the metal shop here at Glencoe High School. We study manual machining and entry-level welding. We have numerous tools available for all the students. And we uh, dive into prints, uh, design, engineering, drawing of uh, weldments. And we also have the ability to move forward for dual credit for Portland Community College. 
We offer many classes that students can get both high school and college credit. Uh, the metal shop also has a robotic team. Uh, the metal shop uses software and people from numerous different programs to bring their, their skills into the metal shop and develop product. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Come join us. So if you're interested in the program, you can obviously check out the Manufacturing Pathways program and uh, look for the metal shop. Um, come on down and I'd be happy to give you a tour. Art at Glencoe has one semester or two semesters for Art 1. You can take Art 2 sophomore or later year, Art 3 and 4 your later years, and we also have an AP Art program that you can take. Our class is also good for comics and illustration, graphic design, anything visually related would be a very good choice to have Art as a class to take in addition to those other courses. So there's a lot of career options for that you can get out of the Art class. I love coming back to our Art Room because it's a very inviting space. Uh, there's no judgment based on your skill level, and anybody can succeed here no matter what grade or what skill level they're in. I like coming back to art because I like the people, my peers, and the teacher, and the motivation they give me. And whenever I'm struggling, I can always find help. I like coming back to art class because it's a good way to vent out creativity, and also it's a good thing to keep your hands busy, um, so just to be creative. Hello, my name is Scott Jackson and I teach robotics and engineering courses here at Glencoe High School. Robotics courses are hands-on, fun, engaging classes for students to work with LEGO and Tetris robotics systems and learning about programming in um, LEGO robotics and also Robot C. It's a fun, engaging course and, and it's open for entry-level first-timers and experienced kids alike. We also teach Principles of Engineering, which is a little more advanced course, a little more of a mechanical engineering, but again, hands-on, engaging activities. Students will do things like build cranes, design bridges, and other project-based learning. For seniors and upper class, we have our capstone class called Engineering Design Development, which is individual projects where you work and design an individual project to solve a problem of your own interest, leading to a capstone where you present at um, but senior project night and also to some advisors. Of course, they're very um, hands-on, working with small groups and project-based. They're exciting, they're challenging and fun. Look forward to seeing you. I'm Lisa Pearson and I teach AP Psychology and Regular Psychology at Glencoe High School. Next year we're really excited to offer a new CCP program. It's called Civics and Community Service or CCS. It's for students who are interested in anything from being a high school teacher to a psychologist, a mental health counselor, parole officer, police officer, or even a lawyer. 
So CCS is divided up into two different parts. You'll take CCS1 your junior year. CCS1 will be divided into six different units. Throughout the course of that year, we'll be talking about things from sociology and addressing things like social injustice or systems in our society that don't work the way they should. We'll talk about criminal justice for people who are interested in careers in criminology or people who want to be police officers. We'll look at things like mandatory sentencing. We'll even tour a courthouse and see how psychology plays out in our legal system. From there, you can also uh, have it. We'll also have a unit in mental health, so we'll learn anything from therapeutic strategies to the different kinds of professions that will be involved in mental health or in psychology. Our very last unit will be about gerontology, which is all about aging. A good portion of our population will be aging over the next 20 years into retirement, and our class will be investigating what that means for us career-wise and also ways that we can get involved and help people who are aging, especially as they get into older populations. CCS2 will be taken your senior year. CCS2, you'll do an internship and a senior project as part of your graduation requirement, and you'll complete both of those with me in class. CCS2 is basically a way for you to take what you've learned in CCS1 and apply it to the real world, getting real world experience and real world strategies. In addition to CCS1 and CCS2, you'll have to take one credit from a list of recommended courses. These could range anywhere from AP Psychology and AP Literature, all the way down to things like Ethnic Studies or Communications. It's basically a good way for you to get more information about the human experience and condition that will help better prepare you for the workplace. If you have any questions about the program or want to talk about anything in regards to civic and community service, you can stop by my room, room 225, and I would be happy to talk to you. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Ms. Church. I am the leadership teacher and activities director at Glencoe, and I'm really excited for next year that we're going to be offering leadership as a career pathway. So um, there have been students who've been in leadership for three or more years, and now they can actually do a senior project with their um, with their leadership things, which is great. Um, at Glencoe, what you're going to do is take Leadership One, if you can, as a freshman. Um, leadership One is a great class to learn about leadership qualities, about your own personal development, as well as um, planning events, goal setting, conflict management, all kinds of things with getting along with people and building soft skills in the world that are needed for future jobs and um, just getting along in the world. Um, after Leadership One, you can choose to run for office to be in student government class, which is the class that you would be your career pathway. If you're not quite ready to run for office, you can also be nominated by applying to be in um, the student government class as a senator. Um, but we hope that you would run for office and be on our, the, the pinnacle of the event is to be a associate student body executive officer, which is where you could be student body president, student body vice president, secretary, treasurer, and any number of positions that we have. They work closely with me to plan all of the events at Glencoe. So if you're a person who's heard of prom, homecoming, winter ball, um, perhaps you've heard of Red Ribbon Week, Mental Health Week, um, we celebrate um, all kinds of events as well as put on community service projects. We um, put on a huge homecoming parade this year that was a lot of fun. Um, our job in leadership is to make everyone at Glencoe feel part of our community and to be excited to be here. And we are a big family amongst ourselves, so it's a really fun place to be. But also our job is to make everyone at Glencoe feel welcome and included while we're setting goals for ourselves, planning events, and um, developing our character. So I think it's fantastic. I'm really excited to be here and to have you come and join us. Hi, I'm Maddie Ross. I'm a senior at Glencoe High School and I've been involved in leadership since my freshman year. I think leadership is a really great opportunity for people to get involved with school, with volunteer opportunities. Um, leadership is also a really great community to be a part of. I found some of my best friends through leadership. Um, our teacher is really great. I eat lunch in her room every day. Um, and the biggest support system at Glencoe, I think, is through Glencoe Leadership. My name is Dylan Lobaugh. I've also been involved in leadership since my uh, freshman year. Leadership has given me so many opportunities to ex expand and become, honestly, a better human being. Um, I've done 500 plus hours of community service within the first two years of high school. 
Um, I'm a part of clubs that I'd never imagine me being part of if it wasn't for leadership. Um, it's really taught me how to be a better person and how to not only serve myself, but serve the community. Um, hi, my name is Casey Cadiz and I'm a senior here at Glencoe. Um, I really love being a part of leadership and student government because it's helped me learn how to plan events in a really short amount of time. It's helped me uh, in lots of ways outside of school. You get to learn really good elevator speeches, like things that you just have to kind of say to someone super fast to get your whole point across. Um, it's helped me learn how to communicate in a more professional way with people like DJs and vendors and um, people that are coming to our different events. It's also given me a lot of really good friends and a community of people that are very passionate about the same things that I'm passionate about. And at the end of the year, you get to run for offices for the next year to get your class like motivated to have more school spirit. And essentially the whole year, you just try to gain school spirit throughout your school. So it's a lot of fun. If you want to find me, you have to go down underneath the cafeteria, which is kind of a weird place to be, um, but I'm kind of all over the place. So you can come find me down there or you can leave me a note in my mailbox or give me a phone call, but I really want you to be involved. So come join us in Leadership at Glencoe.